In this lecture, we are going to talk about domains with your Shopify store. A domain in general is the part that you enter into your browser when you want to surf on a website. And your Shopify store is by default surfed as your Shopify store name.myshopify.com. And if you want to have your store running under your own domain, for example, yourbusiness.com or shop.yourbusiness.com, then you either have to buy a domain or you add your existing domain, which you already have. Shopify is offering an option to buy a domain directly with them and hosting it with them for about 13 to $23. You can do this fairly easy when you go to your online store sales channel to the domain section, and then you will see this screen, which you see here. And then you simply click buy domain and you can enter the domain name that you want and the extension, and they offer pretty much everything that you can think of. I personally don't like to have my domains hosted directly with Shopify. And the reason is not that I don't trust Shopify. The reason is they don't offer any email services on top of it. This is very crucial for me that I can send out and receive my emails with my domain name. For example, customer support at mydomain.com or sales at whatever domain name you have.com. And I don't want to have any generic domain. So I, I usually buy my domains with fast comment. You can buy your domains with whatever provider you want to have. And even Shopify themselves, they have listed on their website a lot of different providers where you can buy and host your domain names. I don't know if every one of them has email support in the package. FastCommit offers not only the domain, but also an email server and web hosting and a lot more for around two to three dollars a month, which is enough for me. And I will show you later how you can set up your domain with Shopify when you bought it with FastCommit. And the setting with all the other domain providers should be pretty much the same. You can reach the common providers here in the Shopify help when you go to help.shopify.com and then you go to the domain section, third party domains and common providers. Now, instead of buying a domain, I want to add an existing domain and I want to have my domain, for example, shop fomtom.at, which is my personal portfolio domain. And I will show you how you can, for example, configure this domain as your shop domain. Shopify has on their domain help, when you go to help at shopify.com domains, third party domain and setting up your domain, a whole page explaining exactly how you should set up your domain and what it's all about. I will not go through this whole section, but I will show you the main points, what you have to do in order to set up your domain. And the most important part when you own a domain is that when you enter it into the browser, it will be translated into an address, into a so-called IP address. And Shopify's IP address from Shopify servers is this one, and it's also listed in the help pages. It will always stay the same. And if you want to set up your domain, you first have to point and so-called a record to this IP address. And I will show you exactly how to do this. When I go to the client area from FastCommit, which looks pretty much the same, probably like all the other domain hosting providers, then I want to go to the C panel and I want to find what it's called a simple soon editor or DNS editor or anything which looks like a DNS editing functionality. I select the right domain and then I can add an A record or a C name record. In my case, I want to add an A record and I want to call it shop.fomtom.at and please mind that there is a dot at the end. This is correct. And I point this a record to the address from Shopify and I add the record and it tells me the record is added. Then I can head over to my Shopify settings and I can add an existing domain. 
I add the domain that I want to add and I click add domain. Now it tells me to set up my domain and so on. And it tells me the status is okay. They already checked in the background that shop.fontam.at is pointing to the servers from Shopify and an SSL is pending and SSL encryption means that your shop will be available from an encrypted website and Shopify automatically manages and issues such an SSL certificate. This is going to happen in the background. Sometimes when you are on a trial store, then it will say SSL error or SSL unavailable. In this case, Shopify will not issue the SSL certificate automatically. You would have to just ask Shopify support that they do this because during the trial period, it costs them some money to issue these SSL certificates. And if you are just going to delete your store because you don't want to have it anymore, uh, they try to avoid having these costs on their side. There is another workaround. If there is standing SSL unavailable, you just delete the domain and you're going to add it again. I saw this workaround in the forum. It was proposed by one of the Shopify gurus and it seems to work pretty well. It can take up to a few hours that the certificate is issued and installed. Now let's see what happens when we go to the store with our new address. We reach our store. We still have to enter a password because we didn't deactivate the, the password for the front end and it automatically redirects us to the secured site. You can see this, that the little green lock is on. It tells me a secure connection and everything that's going to be interacted with the store. Now a user is going to interact. It's going to be encrypted. You don't have to have any headache about encryption or installing any certificates. Everything is happening in the background. If you want to have it very easy, you can buy the domain with Shopify. I prefer buying my domain with an external provider because again, I can have my emails with the domain then, and I, they provide me with some space for my emails and for maybe additional web space, but there is no real need for that. It's just my personal flavor. And that's pretty much everything you have to do in order to make your domains working with your store.